look away from the train wreck. You can blame it on the tank or the disrespect. If you play better, button check. Button check. What is up, Butt Check family? Welcome back to it again. A beautiful morning. It is Sunday. The weekend is here, and it is almost over, but hey, it's still Sunday. Anyway, thank you guys for tuning in. Chapters down below if you guys want to skip around, and of course, that sub button right there. Thank you guys for all the amazing love and helping the channel grow. We got so much action still happening this weekend, so without further ado, let's go. All right, now into them first set of Red Bull Kumite buttons that need to be checked. We are live. Well, technically, I believe it started yesterday, right? They had the LCQ and whatnot. We've been on this coming up for a while. We got the who's who of the Street Fighter 6 champions, and they all in New York City. Man, I wish I could make this one. So look, anyway, starting yesterday, they had the LCQ. Man, they had some amazing matches. I think they had two spots, if I'm not mistaken. They had two spots to fill um, for today because it's actually going to all wrap up today. And with that being said, we're going to check out some quick highlights. The link for everything is down below, so definitely check it out to catch the full action. Let's get the highlights. Want to carry? All right, oh, we got Shine right here. A little breathing room. Shine was playing pretty damn good. Oh, what a jump back and the conversion to tag on that dash kick. Yuki just so aware of the approach again. Shine, oh! what? A reverse frame trap. He had put himself at the disadvantage. This time he goes for the level two. No drop there. Huge life lead here for Ukichi fighting for his Life here in the winner's side. Oh, okay. Okay. side burns another level three. Huge amounts of drive gauge here. Rukichi, burn out. Gonna have to hold this pressure. All the way across. Oh, the yeah, overhead, overhead harvest. Like, Take some of this medicine yourself and the There's trade. the trade combo. <laughs> Shine, one more sequence okay. is all he needs. Oh, and that's gonna real. be it. Shine closes out a big 3-0 win here on home turf to okay. advance. On winner's side. That's what's up. Kimberly. Shine oh, is so cool. With the win. So Ryukichi. cool. A sound 3 0 defeat. A big statement there. Oh, it's fitting players. to see. All right, here we got the homie Noah the Prodigy. Going all the way to the final, final round. And again, the OD blowing the through the for string. A while, man. He has Just converted getting better and all better. Of those Hail Marys for right the Right here it's 2 2. Okay, damn. Chasing him down. You do not get out of this corner for free. Trade what combo. a trade uh -oh. on uh -oh. the red. Saving the resources. Couldn't kill with it. Great jump angle, but Damn. he's going to kill now. Did not even give with the, the level three. three. The big pop-off from Noah on the stage. Show the pop-off. Respect on, to Shen Shon. Daps him up. And Noah advances. Is the mic picking up the audio from the entourage? All I hear is Noah's corner. Parry, oh, oh what a reset. reset. My God. Damn, Usanagi. that was good. That was nice. With the set point here, not being put off. It's all about throwing that, that spice in. Throw your opponent off with the timings. There Damn, we go, Usanagi the medium drive impact so difficult to react to. There's so much to look for. Speaking of throwing that spikes, it does not look like Space Boy is the Lizan oh Al-Gai, the, the boy from outer wow. space. He's getting beat He's up He's going to be riding that world into the next round. He is not Play the, the music. Timothy that's Chamelet it. that we perfect needed. Perfect KO. Was that a, perf was that a perfect Who's parry into a perfect KO right after? There we go. But it doesn't have the life. All right, now we got Nephew. Nephew was playing out of his mind as well. What? Oh! Whoa! Whoa, I almost missed that shit. That was dope. That was some Daigo shit, right? Nephew tosses Garnet down into the No, 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 no. We're going to have to watch that again. Uh-uh. But it doesn't have the life here. How is he going to call that? Delta not known for the damage output. What? Punish. Oh, it still looks good. Wow, that was that was oh. Okay, nephew, we see and you, man. We see you. Tosses Garnet down into the losers bracket. Nephew now graduated to uncle. You uncle now. Was that a weird timing? Next so up, we got Shine again. How to punish that properly, I think. Yeah, oh, he's out of the air reset. Well, he gets on the whole perfect parry though. Oh, Level wake three, up. wake up. It's not the right Oh, choice. he's doing it. No oh, one. Uh. Level two. Is that gonna be able to kill? Oh change? man. Yeah. One more bar. Oh no, he's gonna yeah, go for the le level yeah. two. There you go, Shine. 3 0 over Noah. And wow. I, a lot of that came from the perfect parry as well. Uh, wow. I think. It's this throw gets punished for it. 
And again, it's Ooh. costing him nearly. And he's going to get burnt out here. All right, let's see what kind of reset. Okay, Nephi's okay, still playing out of his mind. Such a good super when, it, when they're burnt out. Oh, he went for the Whoa, what the hell was that? He him from the overhead. I don't know if, I doubt he did it on purpose, but it just worked out. It messed up Nephi's trick. He was trying to go for a fuzzy. Oh, oh shit. Again. He went for it again. He doesn't care. <laughs> oh, wow. wow. Nephew, we maniac. Play like a damn maniac. Now. Gets the trade. Beautiful whip on his side switch. So oh, this was 2-2. Two, two. Final game, him. final round. Stay your ass in the corner. Yeah, final bro. game, final round here. Every time it's like Ken's getting run out. He burns himself oh, out, out the corner oh, with oh, the edge. He Let's trade them spaces. More than dead. He has the level three already going. Wow, this little kill, right? Oh, the target combo to finish. I mean, DJ is a This DJ is a character that just pumps out damage. Oh god. He pumps out damage. He was dead before that final drive. Find him, and then the. He might have been worried about Luke's dive kick. All right, well, who we got here? Space boy. But this is. But those both of them, the HK and the HP, are both oh. like. Oh, oh man! Oh, what a bet! That was the reaction. reaction. I think he just did that. Is was that, that a reaction or a read? Is that gonna be enough to kill? No, say it, no, Jake, it say can't it. be. You oh, said said oh, the perfect! I, I, oh, I want to say that was a read because how do you react really that fast? You know what I'm saying? It wasn't even a CA. It wasn't even a CA. What the hell? I was like, there's no way that's gonna kill, and it killed. Straight, straight level three. Nah. Why, no critical art. Why am I so Bust bad up. at this, baby? <laughs> James, watch. you're good at other things. You're the most <laughs> likable commentator. He said you're good at other things. Okay, okay here we go. Shine versus oh Noah the Prodigy. God. It's 2 2. This one's going back and forth, y'all. Nice overhead. Oh. That's going to combo. Oh, Cheeky yeah. reset. But here comes Shine. Cheeky reset. Doing what Shine does. Three yet. Feeling it. He's oh my God. It. Going in. The pressure. Nice jab. Miss the combo. Oh. Damn. Damn. He spent the level three for sure, right? Oh, oh no! Oh, that's we enough. Just, it was dead. just another reset. It's that's it. The, right. the New York reset. Remember the element of confusion? The that's New the York one. reset right there. I love that Shine. Justin's there. I love him today. Shine home. eliminates Noah. Wow. Moving on to the grand finals, yes. and it's the most brawl. It was such a big brawl. Yes. Wow. Literally, it could have went either way. They were just. Yeah, could have went either way. Big up to Noah, man. I was really rooting for you, bro. It could have went either way, man. Big up. You'll get it next time. All right, here we go. Nephew and Shine. Both of them played out of their damn mind. It is 2-2. Hold on. Here we go. One more. Oh, my God. Oh, nice. He's looking for it. He wants the big starter. Both of the shenanigans, right, with these characters. Oh. Back and forth. Ooh, the wake up. get off of Trying to bait something with the elbow. Wow. Oh! oh. I didn't react either. Ooh, I didn't react either. Me. That was mad fast. That yeah. dash is mad e fast. Even your screen was delayed. That was crazy. Oh! Oh! oh. Is this it? Is this the wow. crowd of champions? Wow! Got your ass. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Liquid's nephew will be going to the main event on Sunday. Give it up for your champion, y'all. There you yo. go. Nephew's in there on the shine, y'all. I know, I know, I know, I know it's okay, yeah. New York. Yeah. But look, yo, New York, though, make some noise for your representative, man. He almost did it. Make some noise for Shine, y'all. That's what's he up, man. Like... Give it up for Shine. Shine, I feel bad because he was playing out of his damn mind. That's his whole, you know, he's on his turf. You know what I'm saying? Home field advantage. I was rooting for him. But you got to give Nephew the props, man. Nephew's in. Like I said, I believe there's more, one more slot. So let's check it out. Okay, now skipping a little bit ahead, like I said, down below is the link for the full action. We got Dual Kevin that was actually in the LCQ, I believe, grand final. Let's check it out. Oh, wow. The top two. Dual yeah, Kevin's right. been Kevin doing the Kevin damn thing this year, man. To me, he was even in Cap Cup, right? Yeah. Kind of a little under the radar, oh, right? What a catch. But he's definitely been there. He's been fucking beating a lot of people. He maxed out the damage. I like that. Oh my God, the chip out, that's big damage. Game over, ladies and gentlemen. Duel Kevin, you will see there him you tomorrow go. at the Red Bull Kumite New York City Finals. Give it up for Duel He's Kevin. He's good, man. He's good. Don't sleep on Kevin. Yo, real talk, real talk before he leaves the stage. Yo, make some noise for you. There you go, man. Valerio. Like I said, it's that's going down right today. Right it's actually Red Bull Kumite. Kid, They're going to be in the cage, getting it on. It's always a hype event. I'm going to cover it. If I don't post again today, I'll definitely post tomorrow morning. Check it out. How y'all feeling? Let me know. All right, now into the next set of Tekken 8 bands officially underway. 
and the shit is hitting the fan <laughs> buttons that need to be checked. Remember, we were literally just talking about this, I want to say on the last episode. Well, it's coming through and apparently LTG himself has been banned. Um, I'm not sure if I have that footage at this time or not because I've been tagged a lot. So I'm gonna look through it and edit as I'm filming this, by the way, because I'm literally just looking at it now. So, but I do know DSP is apparently talking that shit we got a clip, right? And I want to thank Maxim Muscles 2400 for tagging me in this. I appreciate the love. Let's check out this clip from DSP, see what he's talking about. Let's go. So here's the deal. Yesterday, low tier God jumped on Tekken 8 to do his nightly rage session of playing the game and literally plugging all night whenever he's about to lose. And he found out that his account was banned live on stream. So you might say, ha, got him. So finally, these people get their just desserts, except there's a little problem with that. What ends up happening is you can just make another PlayStation Network account. Yeah, you could just do a second account and then you can immediately jump right back on and play again. The difference is you have to start from the bottom. You have to start your ranking over. <clears throat> so it, it is funny. It's the equivalent of, you know, man, you got punished. You got reset to zero and now you got to play again from the start. But what's to stop the person from just doing it again? And especially if they're better at the game now because they've been playing it for a while, what's to stop them from just plugging over and over and within a, f a week or two, get right back to the level that you were at? <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry. It's not, this is not directed at one particular person. Can you imagine the guy who apparently is top three in Tekken 8 ranked online? I mean, what a fucking life loser. This is all you do. You sit around playing Tekken, pulling the plug all day. This is your claim to fame in life. Wow, so now you're banned. So now what are you going to do with the rest of your fucking life, you loser? The moment that you do it and you pull that plug, and if you're doing it publicly, that's even worse. You just proved you have no fucking manhood whatsoever. You're a coward. You're a creep. You're a fucking loser. Again, with as many losses as I've taken, as many licks as I've taken, as much as I've sucked at fighting games, and yes, I acknowledge that I get angry and I rage online and I say naughty things, I don't pull the plug because I'm not a bitch. I'm not familiar with this man's online gameplay. Does he rage? You know what I'm saying? Is he just being a hypocrite right now? I don't know because he's like, I do all these things, but I don't do what this one thing. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. Y'all let me know in the comment section. As far as the LTG thing, do you think he has a point where he's saying, I bought the game. You know what I'm saying? I'm entertaining. I'm doing my thing. Is it really breaking like the universal almighty law for me to play it the way I want to play it and for you to stop letting me play it online? Because let's be real, if you can't play it online, if you can't stream, that kills it, right? Because then what are you doing? And you're just playing at home like by yourself? He said it wasn't in t pointed at one individual, but it sure sounded like there was some heat behind it, didn't it? Damn, he's passionate about that shit, man. Do y'all agree? Do y'all disagree? He talked about there was a problem that, yeah, even though they're banned, they could always create a new account. They got to reset, but still, it's not going to eliminate the problem altogether. It's interesting in the comments, right? Reading a lot of these, you know, responses from previous videos, people are like, yes, they either should be banned 100% or no, just let us, when they plug, take the points. If you take the points, they'll stop doing it, right? Or if, you know, maybe when you, they do it, they have to like go to like a shadow realm or some shit like that where they could only face other pluggers or some shit like that, you know? So you got certain debates. Now, when it comes to LTG, I actually just looked at a video. Apparently it actually did, cause I didn't know if it was like Photoshopped or not, but apparently it didn't happen to him, right? He logged on, uh, he streamed it for a little bit. I'll put his information down below so you can check out his stream. Um, and it looks like he felt it was unfair because he was saying that, you know, there was no warning. It was like, if y'all would have just like, you know, maybe the first time you could have suspended me for a week or something like that and let me know what's cracking, then I could take measurements from there, right? And he also felt it's an infringement upon like free will. Cause he's like, how am I gonna buy the game for like a hundred dollars and whatnot? And, but y'all still get to tell me how I can play it. Technically, I should be able to do whatever the hell I want. As long as I'm not modding the game or, you know, doing some kind of cheat codes or shit like that. Technically, I should be able to do with what I want is, you know, the perspective that he's coming from. That's what I'm saying. Like, to me, it should be illegal to ban somebody's account indefinitely for quitting in a game they paid for. To me, that's, that's literally wild. It's not like there was money involved. Like, I paid for your game. Then you and sit there and allow somebody you allow people to mass report my account and get it banned when i pay hard earned money for your game it's crazy to me that's wild to me that is a scam
It is a scam. Yeah, you should be permanent banned for hacking. If somebody quits in a video game they paid for, who cares? Give them a yellow card, fuck up their connection percentage, everything. But banning people that play a video game because they quit in it is literally crazy. That's wild. So you're banning me for the right of free will. That's wild to me in a fighting game. I've never seen that before. And of course, he goes more to depth. I think he also says uh, he's going to continue playing, maybe even playing uh, Street Fighter and whatnot. So it'll be interesting to see how things roll out. Because in the last video, we were talking about how certain players that are getting banned um, are actually suing Bandai, right? So Bandai is like saying, oh, they, you know, because people were tripping that uh, Bandai was like, hey, use, or Harada was also saying, use Twitter to report these things, right? And then some were like, it's whack. Why do we have to use Twitter? We should just use the in-game thing. Well, they were saying, long story short, yes, you can use the in-game, but the reason why we do all this is because it's a trail of receipts, because you wouldn't believe how many times we have lawsuits coming against us from the people that we banned. And from, you know, country to country, it's all different. So we need all the proof we can get. Shit, you know what I'm saying? So that makes it even deeper. Like, I know I'm not alone in thinking that I didn't even know it even went that far. Usually if you got a ban or something like that, especially like online in a game, you would think that it just ends there, but apparently not. You could fight it in court and stuff, which is crazy to think. And then with the whole argument that, you know, people can just create a new account, is it worth it? You know what I'm saying? Is banning people really worth it at the end of the day if somebody could always create a new account? How do y'all feel? Or do you think ultimately they should just do the thing where they do like warnings, like LTG was talking about, like, hey, this is the first strike, you're banned for a week and whatnot, or where they should just take the points away altogether. Like, yo, if you're gonna keep doing this, guess what? Now you get no points every time you do it, and it goes to the person that you plugged on. So food for thought, how y'all feeling? Let me know. That was just one more time. Thank you guys for the amazing love, man. We will see you soon, like I said earlier. If not today, like later today, it'll definitely be tomorrow because we got a lot of hype action happening today and thank you guys so much for helping the channel grow man we will see you soon as always i don't know what it is but i know it's about to get better love y'all forever peace blah 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 subscribe you can. the moment that you do it and you pull that plug and if you're doing it publicly that's even worse you just proved you have no fucking manhood whatsoever you're a coward you're a creep you're a fucking loser he was the guy that got caught masturbating in front of children i think he's I'm like 30 he's like in his 30s right or something He's in his 30s and he did that in front of children. That's right. Yes. I, but I'm, I've seen so purpose. much. I'm, I'm a fan. What? I don't know what to say. <laughs> of course. Of course. And I did it on purpose. That's why I'm still on Twitch and I'm still on YouTube and not banned, right? Yeah. So you didn't get banned. You didn't get fired from any MCNs or anything, right? No. You didn't get fired from the cinema? No? No. No. No, I didn't. No, oh, you didn't, no. <laughs> you didn't get released? And what about Laveria? Laveria? Oh, my they God. They dropped you. They no, they didn't. They dropped you when they found out <laughs> that video.